Hello, 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 everybody. How's it going? It is Matt, and it is Wild Wednesday, and I am back at you with yet another review. Before I roll on to any of that, I want to wish each and every one of you a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that lovely stuff, because life really is too short as is. Please do me a really huge favor and like, share, and subscribe. I love seeing your beautiful faces when I am here. I know it's an awful lot, but I have an awful lot to review for each and every one of you. And one last little tidbit of information, check out the box information in the description box i like to give you a little bit bigger taste of every single movie of every single day i give you your brief synopsis your starring cast your director your runtime of the cut i am watching uh no mpaa rating um no trivia a link for where you can see a trailer a link for where you can watch rent it to watch it and a link for where you can also if you decide you can go out and you can purchase me a cup of coffee yeah, so if you would like to do that, go ahead and hit that that uh, uh, button down on the very, 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 very bottom. I would love that very, 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 very much. Anyways, before we now that we got all that out of the way, let's roll on to the film of the day. The today's film came out back in 2016, and it is none other none other than the Joe Sherlock classic known as Beyond the Wall of Fear. Yes, what a fucking title, man. I love that title. That is a great title, Joe. Um, I, I am a huge fan of your work already. I've only seen a couple of your films so far, and this one, my God, is an absolute blast. Now, what is it about exactly? It is a anthology of sorts. It is uh, nine different stories, uh, all ranging from different different time, different lengths of, of of time, and all that great fun stuff. Uh, it is an absolute thrill ride. I'm going to go on to the very first one. The very first one is called Scared to Death. And essentially that is what it is about. It is about getting scared to death. And essentially what happens to this poor girl who is having these horrible, horrible nightmares. And she decides that she's going to get a hold of her doctor. Her doctor hooks her up with these new medications. And these new medications make her sick. Um, they make her so sick to the point to the, where she ends up dying. She ends up dying of, of fear, you know, and, and, and as always, we have one of our, our, uh, lovely cameos from one of our Joe Sherlock regulars in there. Uh, I'm not going to, um, point out anybody. I'm just going to just say that you have a cameo from a Joe Sherlock regular at that point. Then we move on to Carter. Carter was a different one. Carter was nice. I really liked that one. Um, it wasn't nowhere near as good as... Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to stick with this. My tripod is deciding to die on me for some reason. Um, I don't know what the deal is. I'm just going to stand here and go with it anyways. But uh, 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 the third one is called Walking the Dog, which was absolutely my favorite story out of all of them. It was about a man who whose wife dies and he decides every night at late, late at night, he's going to take his dog out and go for a walk. And as every night you see... Um, on um this on one of the um poles on the side of the on one of the street street poles uh the light poles there is a uh um a there are signs that are starting to accumulate that have uh uh different uh pictures of different pets uh, that are going missing in the neighborhood. And at one night, our friend, um, actually even finds a collar and calls the owner, blah, 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 blah. You find out later on that there is a monster that has been stalking each and every one of these pets. And at one time, at one night decides to attack his pet. He does whatever any honorable pet owner would do fights the monster beats the shit out of it and kills it takes its head and mounts it on the wall that's what i call awesome 
Yes, that is why I loved that story so much. I am a huge pet fan. Um, I have a dog. I have three cats. You touch my animals, I'm going to kick your ass. You know, one of those kind of ordeals. <laughs> and then we go on to The Curse of Pelican Bay. The Curse of Pelican Bay is a very interesting one. It's about a writer named Julia, who Julia goes to... Um, uh, she goes to watch her latest film that her latest book has been adapted into a film and they have turned it into an alien film of, of sorts when it is a ghost story. Really upsets her as any artist would be. I would be upset as well. Um, either way, um, I would be, be kind of, I, I would be greatly disappointed. Um, but either way, um, that story, uh, her publicist slash slash uh, a friend slash uh, agent basically sets her up to go out to go stay at Pelican Bay, and he gives her all these great stories about about what has happened in Pelican Bay, and lo and behold, she dies while she's there. Uh, and then you fast forward a little, little time later and lo and behold, he has co-written, finished co-writing the book that Julia started. Julie or Julia, I can't remember. Either way, the, the, uh, Curse of Pelican Bay was a very cool story as well. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, Scanned, Scanned was fun. Um, I'm gonna skip over that one. I'm gonna roll into You Bitches Ain't Witches. You Bitches Ain't Witches was my second favorite one. Um, that one was very cool. Um, basically it's about a, a lady who is setting up her husband's, uh, maid to essentially do a witch's, uh, uh, like sacrifice type thing to her. It's very interesting. Um, very fun, very cool. Um, you find out that this wife is just very conniving and that her husband, who, who is played by another, uh, one of my favorites of Joe Sherlock's, uh, 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 the husband, he, he, uh, he go, he is going off for a business trip, blah, 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 blah. They, you find out that him and the maid are actually sleeping together, um, uh, it was kind of like one of those things, like I kind of saw it coming, but, uh, it, it, it's, it definitely is an interesting ordeal. Uh, you fast forward to, to the next night and the, uh, the wife and her f conniving friend are getting ready to set up our maid and they're going to sacrifice her. And you find out that, that there is a little secret with our maid that is very interesting. And I really loved that ending to that one. And then we go on to Tabitha. Tabitha was fun. Uh, I'm going to skip that one as well. I just, I don't want to talk about all of them because I don't want to give away the entire movie. Crazed. Crazed is my third favorite. Crazed was essentially you wake up uh, and the this morning you find out that um, this man named named Rick or Rich I can't remember I think it was Rick uh, is uh, slept with um, two women at the same night and he is now going to go out and get some more score some 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 drugs for them. Uh, the one is, is more interested in the drugs. The other is interested in donuts as what I would be. I am interested in donuts all the time. So, so that is another thing you can buy me is a coffee and a donut. Yes. I love donuts. They're great. As you can see, I'm kind of fat. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. But anyways, um, you fast forward it and you find out that uh, people are going crazy, essentially. Um, uh, it is just, just, or well, you fast forward it and I'm sorry, I skipped a whole bunch of stuff. I'm sorry, I, I, I missed a, a key part. Rick, Rick goes out and he ends up getting, getting uh, uh, looped into a whole deal to where he has to go steal this statuette 
from a person that owes his dealer money because he owes his dealer money and this is his way to wipe that that slate clean so therefore he decides he's gonna go in he has no choice he goes for it uh it's all a setup so they kill him ba -ba -ba -ba. Now you have a nice final story, and that's the one where everybody is going crazy. It's called a little bit, cr a little more crazed. Um, it is absolutely just nuts. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to give away any more. Now on to my three criteria that this thing meets. Now audio number one, uno momento. The audio is very good yes i loved it it made me very happy there is no points in it where where i was misunderstanding what was being said um i understood every single word out of every person's mouth and i did not use subtitles so therefore that is a bonus so this gets an a plus plus on audio Dialogue. Dialogue is where I come to come to uh, um, enjoy a lot of Joe Sherlock's films. There is a lot of great dialogue in here. It is very tongue in cheek, very silly. And there goes my 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 thing again. I'm just going to hold it for the rest of the video. Let's just do that. Um, very silly, funny stuff. It, it, it'll definitely keep you laughing all throughout the entire movie. Uh, <laughs> it just went again. Oh, my good golly. I'm just going to hold it right here. There we go. Um, uh, uh, it is a very fun movie. I highly recommend every little bit of it. Uh, the dialogue is what, what always brings me to the game, always brings me to the show, always, always brings Joe to the game, I mean, um, and it brings me to the show to want to watch, watch his films, uh, because he always has funny stuff, and he always gets great performances out of his actors, so you get, um, uh, 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 a little bit of, 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 uh, a hodgepodge of greatness all throughout this. Now, editing. Editing is great. Um, I don't see any problems with it, especially for being an anthology film. There's no wraparound, thor rap blah, 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 blah. no wraparound story going on with this one. So definitely uh, don't look for any of that kind of stuff. But it definitely uh, delivers on, on every aspect from beginning to end. So now on to my, so it gets an A on that as well. So an A++, plus plus, an A++, plus plus, and an A. So what is this thing going to get? It's going to get a 4 out of 5, out of, in my opinion. It delivers on every little aspect of Joe Sherlock's films. So if you're a huge fan of his stuff, definitely run on out. Check it out. You will be happy. You will be pleasantly surprised. Um, it is it is uh, available on his uh, Skullface Astronaut on Demand site. Uh, it jumps you over to Vimeo. Uh, it's like four ninety nine to rent, eight ninety nine to purchase. Um, I think it's worth purchasing, to be quite honest. I wish this one had a DVD because I would buy it. Um, I would definitely love to have this one up on the wall with with the rest of my other movies. All right, guys, love your faces, and as always, peace.